So our application is running and uh, we're actually going to create the roles in this page right now. The, the page is going to list all the roles that we've created in the website and uh, in this application rather and uh, let's just start building that. And uh, the first thing I need to build is actually create the controller for the roles and uh, to actually do that is simple. Let's just run the command php artisan make controller and this will be the road controller and I actually want this controller to be a resource controller just like the permissions controller and let's just create that so we've successfully created the controller and I wish go back to our route our route uh, route file we actually need to add the control the, uh, the rules so this we use the row controller and that's all we need to do and if we should go back to the row controller um, we need to um, bring in the uh, we actually need to use the uh, row class from the laravel permission we installed so to actually use that is simple I just say uh, row I just say mode Slash row. Okay. I'm actually, not getting that. I just expire this. Models. And this will be row. Yeah. So um, the next thing we need to do is actually create a con a constructor. I actually want to use this control constructor to restrict restrict uh, user access. So to do that, we need to call the public function and this will be constructor construct method and uh, this will take the row model and the last line row okay and the first thing I want to do inside this construct method is actually create a middleware and I want this middleware to just be for the art and what this is actually going to do is actually going to restrict uh, user access to this uh, to this controller. That means only authenticated user can use this controller. And the next thing I actually want to do is actually want to set the variable to actually going to be row. And uh, hopefully this makes sense to you. So in the uh, in this method, the first thing I need to do is actually get all the list of uh, all the list of the rows stored in the database. So to actually do that, I'm just going to create a variable called rows, and uh, this variable is going to equal to um, let me just say this row. Remember, we've assigned this uh, this row to this the row model we've assigned it to this variable and now uh, we actually need to just say uh, so um the next thing we need to do is actually return the view so to do that uh, we need to return a row dot index and uh, this view does not exist for now we're actually going to create it we are we're going to create it right now so we're going to bind this data to that so this will be rows dollar sign rows so that's all and uh, let's just create this view right now so if you go back to your resource folder and in the views let's just create a new folder called row row and we're going to create um, a file called index.blade dot php so uh, so i'm just going to copy the html code from i'm going to copy it from the project source code and you can get the project source code from the github page and the link to the github is going to be in the description so uh, yeah so i'm just going to pause the video now i'm just going to copy it so welcome back i've copied the code let me just paste it so I have it right here and now uh, 
now what we actually have here is if we go over to there is a relationship between the roles and the permission um, some permission belongs to a particular role and if you're actually going to view it if you come over here uh, in the role model going to see that it belongs to many that means the roles belongs to many permissions uh, I don't know we don't actually need to worry ourselves about this because um, they've taken care of this for us we just have to uh, use it in our code so some roles some pan just have it at the back of your mind that some permission belongs to a particular role and some roles belong to a user so if a user has a role that means the user has the permissions assigned to that role so hopefully you understand that now yeah so um let's just try let's just preview this and see so um before we preview it the last thing we need to do before previewing it is actually link um uh, the file so if you go back to the roles and come to route and uh, i'm just going to say this is going to be row uh not like this route dot in this so let's preview this we should refresh so we're not getting any error let's see so i have the row table right here and uh for now it's empty the row table is empty and that's because if you check our database we're not we don't have have any rows in the database we've not actually create any rows so we'll be creating rows using the view.js in our next video and i'll see you then so bye guys